All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is going to be build update number one on my Team Durango DEX 410 version 5. Now, of course, this is Team Durango's newest four-wheel drive, one-tenth scale buggy. And I have been building this for probably about two to three hours now. Um, I kind of build in segments, so I pretty much have gone through the manual and got up to a point now where I'm actually assembling the diffs and getting all of the drive lines set in this Team Durango car. Now with that, I've got to say that um, this has been a, a very different build than I, what I've seen in any other 10 skill uh, buggy, especially. Typically when you build a buggy these days, you're building all of the technical stuff. So you're building uh, differentials, you're building shocks, and then as you start to build things, you build around those pieces. What's really nice here with Team Durango is I've built everything uh, except for the diffs, and the diffs are actually um, something that can be taken apart. A lot of other builds, you kind of build the entire vehicle around that diff, and if you need to get it out, you got some wrench turning to do. Right here, you're seeing the front clip of this thing, and you can see right here where the front differential will just slide right into there, and there's literally just four screws right here. I haven't got to that point yet, but it's gonna be pretty simple to pull out those differentials. Even the center here, you can kind of see there, it just drops right in from the top, which is pretty nice. Rear is the same way. Now with that, I do have a couple of negatives so far on the build, and it's mostly been owner's manual, uh, issues and when I, when I say issues, I've just had a several issues just kind of pop up that maybe the most novice builder may not be able to figure out. But being kind of an expert in kits these days, I just happen to figure these items out. Now, with that, the owner's manual is quite small. It's actually a half sheet size piece of paper, and it is very very detailed but very small. So I've had. Plenty of times where I've had to pull out the old glasses to uh, get into there and see exactly what they're talking about. Now, a couple of issues that I do want to mention that I've had with the, the build process and also the owner's manual. These front hubs up here, uh, the front wheel carriers, uh, these are uh, different uh, part numbers. And although they look very similar and I had a hard time telling, they both fell off of the parts tree. So I had no way of telling uh, which one was which, which was kind of frustrating because uh, they fell off the parts tree and I couldn't tell which one was which, so I had to guess. So I'm hoping I guessed right and I'll find out on the geometry if it's wrong. So anyways, they look identical, kind of an issue uh, because they're that they're that such hard uh, plastic, uh, which is good for durability. Um, but nonetheless, kind of had an issue with that. Now down the line, as far as the, the bag order, which was really kind of odd to me, typically when you start with step one, you open bag one or bag A or whatever the case is. In this case, step one actually started right here with bag 30, which was kind of odd. So, um, you know, maybe for, uh, you know, just a, it seemed like they, they numbered all the bags and then they went back through and kind of reorganized the way that they want you to build this thing. And then as you kind of get through the build here, uh, you do start with, um, looks like it goes from bag 11 right there. And then it flips over here to uh, bag 37. So just kind of a mishmash of you know different bags that you have to open. Now, the other frustrating thing is they give you a huge bag of uh, plastic parts. And I found lots of parts in there and there, there's just a ton of parts in those part bags. They have uh, P2 and P3, and there's just lots of bits and pieces in there. So it seemed like there was some parts from maybe other builds in there. I found hub carriers from maybe a previous generation uh, that was in my bag, although these use a very large rear hub carrier on these. So uh, very nice uh, nonetheless, and I, I found the right part after I kind of searched for a little while. So. So right now I'm about midway through the build. Um, all of the parts quality is really top notch. I mean, you have every hinge pin holder is aluminum. You have center and motor mount is aluminum. The rear bulkhead back here is aluminum. You have uh, carbon fiber shock towers, which I haven't treated yet with CA glue. I plan to do that. You have 19 degree uh, casters up here, which are once again, aluminum. That's kind of the, uh, the, the, 
theme of this build is all of the aluminum and upgraded parts. All the uh, CVDs are all super nice, really easy to build. You have captured pins on every single one, so uh, pretty nice overall. Take a look at that front carbon shock tower. Pretty well um, triangulated. You do have uh, like a back piece right here for support, which is nice, and then a huge kind of uh, large piece right there. One thing that was kind of odd when I was building this, I originally put these two items on, and you can kind of see how this one sets back a little bit further than this one. I thought those were the steering posts, and later I found out that these are actually the steering posts. So kind of odd when I was building it, they are just uh, center supports for this kind of large uh, V front right there. Onto some of the electronics, I am running a S9372 SV from Futaba. Uh, very quick servo, plenty of torque. I think it cranks in at almost 300 ounce inches, which is a little bit overkill for this build, but it's what I had here um, at the RC Network. And then, of course, the new Vulcan motor here from uh, Novak, Team Novak. Got some orange on here at the build. Uh, 7.5 turns, what I chose, and this should be a good little addition here. Of course, it's censored, it's mod motor, should be a pretty good build. So, um, the aluminum chassis is just absolutely beautiful. You can kind of see there the uh, way it's been milled out in all these little different areas. Uh, pretty nice build. And then onto the flip side over here, as we hear all of the A-arms kind of click over. Um, very nice overall. These, um, the plastic quality is just top notch. I found that uh, the, the pieces that'll actually touch dirt, uh, super, super nice. A very hard uh, plastic, should be very uh, good for durability. And then the items that you do want to have maybe a little bit of flexibility like these, uh, the wing mount back here, uh, these are kind of like that softer plastic. So they'll have a little bit of flexibility which will be good for durability wise. So, but nonetheless, this is my build. I can't wait to keep going on this thing and get it back to you guys so you can see what it looks like. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions, please post those on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.